Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, good news for the Librans, sunny and cool today and tomorrow because the moon has now moved into your sign. Now, what that does for you is put the emotion of your life and the ego of your life in the same mixing bowl. And believe it or not, that's a good thing. When the ego works with our emotions, we're very passionate about our ideas, of course, but we're also very strong. Our ego keeps our emotions from running too far, and often I find the silly fears go away. We're suddenly not afraid of the dark or whatever for the two-day period. It does also mean that you may likely get pulled into soul service today and tomorrow. We do have a bit of a spiritual earthquake going on, and whenever the moon is in Libra, it means the earth is trying to balance. Now, who better than you to go to when we need balance? So don't be too surprised if the phone rings off the hook, particularly today. Now, speaking of spiritual earthquake, that earthquake is likely to happen if it happens to you with friendships or your place in society. That's the focus of the whole month. We're in chapter two now of Sun and Leo, and Uranus is ruling the day. What that means is there's a bit of a shakeup going on. And whatever's not strong kind of falls apart. That's the breakdown energy. So if something breaks down with you in the context of society or you in the context of your friendships, take a note of that breakdown. It wasn't solid to begin with. You had built that house out of straw, so to speak. But following that breakdown is always a breakthrough. The rainbow comes out, we see a new way of doing it, and we shift. So Uranus ultimately is an innovator, but while it's happening, it's a real pain in the damn ass. All right, Libra. That's all I have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be.